In this release, we are taking the application's feature to the next level with two major improvements. In our mission to provide no-code solutions to personalize the end-to-end -end user experience of Library, email notifications for sharing and collaboration in Library are now fully customizable. And the second improvement, administrators can now specify authentication modes per application. Let's get into the email notifications. Administrators can configure and white-label the email notifications that users will receive when sharing or collaborating with messages in Library. This further enables you to provide controlled and configured user experiences to one or more groups of users or tenants without the need to write code. With the Application Editor, go to the Email Notifications tab and click on Configure Email Content. Here, you can customize various elements of the email, from the subject and body of the email, using macros to dynamically reference user names and the content being shared to the logo, image, and colors. If you're embedding dossier in your own web application, you can configure the action buttons so that they link back to your host portal, and using Library's Embedding SDK, you can easily integrate Library in your application to display the content or bookmark that was shared, completing the overall workflow. For mobile, the action button can be configured to point your own mobile application if you're using our mobile SDK. In this example, the user has been shared important insights in a dossier. Note that the notification email is now fully branded. When clicking, the user is taken to your web application displaying the embedded dossier and directly to insights they are intended to see. Now, shifting focus to the second enhancement. Administrators can now select default authentication methods available to business users. This is extremely powerful since applications allow you to provide different URL entry points to different experiences of library. That means you can direct different groups of users, might be departments or tenants, to different login experiences all within the same environment, keeping the data locked down. After provisioning two or more authentication modes in your environment, go to the Applications Editor. You will see that using the server level configuration is the default. Click on Choose Specific Authentication Modes for the application. In this example, let's select Standard and OIDC for single sign-on and make OIDC to be the default. The users accessing library through that application URL will get authenticated seamlessly by default through single sign-on, or will get the corresponding security challenge from your identity provider. I can then create another application. Here, I want to have LDAP as default, but I also want to allow other users to log in through identity provider using SAML. In this case, the application will display the login screen to accept LDAP credentials, but will also allow users to click and log in using single sign-on. You can create as many applications as required, each providing different ways to authenticate, and you can do so using Workstation or through REST APIs. These two application features work in library web, including embedding scenarios, and of course, in mobile. To learn more about what's new for application, go to www.microstrategy.com and if you're embedding, make sure to check out our embedding SDK documentation.